Okay. Look down through your feet, you can see where you're going. Hi, Mr. Kangaroo. Oh, yeah, come on back. Perfect. All right, what do you think, uh, Cheetah? You remember Cheetah? Cheetah? Anybody show us Cheetah? In, in, out, in, in, out, in, in, out. Okay, come on back. Let's start over. Give me an example. You can work hard. Are you ready? It's pretty hard, man. Go. You're your son. I know. Now let's do gorilla walk. I'm sorry, not gorilla ball. Bear crawl, no knees. So your knees stay as straight as possible. Cross across the floor. Perfect. All right. Now, everybody's going to show you gorilla ball. Thank you. So your knuckles are on the floor. You have to go inside. In the front, off to the other. Just go down the floor like that. Okay? Come on back. Break your nose out of your mouth. Slow your heart rate down. Ready? Go. Warming those hips up. Getting loose. Getting hips loose. Um, you give me my breather. So I think it's very embarrassing. Uh, you talk you about your class. Okay. Army crawl. Hey, crawl. Down belly. Do the wiggle. Low, low, low as you can go. Low, low, low. Wiggle the hips as hard as you can to get them warm. Warm them up for the shrimp. That's what's going to be meant. Oh, we're going to shrimp a little bit. You're awesome, Levi. Really, he's the first one back. Hmm? No, he's the first one back. Yeah, well, he's working hard. Get some moves. All right. We do duck walk. You don't have to be that long. He, he likes to get super long. You can come up a little bit, but it's just a walk like a duck. Hands are up by your chest. If you hold on to your jacket, yep, that's it. That's the duck walk. It's a duck walk. It's a duck walk. Perfect. All right, since we've got so much room, we're going to do bowling grizzlies. All right, now, we're going to try and stay off our heads. So we want to tuck our chin when we go under. Okay, watch how I do this, okay? I touch my shoulder. And then use the floor to go across my shoulder to come off my other shoulder. So it's like this. Do the bear crawl. Tuck one arm and throw your leg over. So, okay? You want to try and stay off your head. If you bump your head, it's okay. Just keep your chin, chin tucked. Okay? All right. You ready? Your marks can take them. And it's not great. That was awesome. You guys are awesome. Good job. Yeah. Rolling crab, which is just the opposite of rolling grizzly. 
So we're rolling grizzly, we went forwards, right? Yeah. We're rolling crab, we go backwards. So we crab walk. Oh, I'm sorry. So we crab walk, sit down, throw our legs over our head, and look where we want to go. So we look the direction we want to go. So I throw my legs and go on my shoulder. And again, tuck your chin so your head stays thick. Ready? Go. Perfect. No. Perfect. That was good. All through. Go to one, one side just a little more. Ready? Try one more time. Perfect. That was it. Nice job. Nice. All right. Let's see. What have we not done? Broken eagle. You're welcome. All right, broken eagle. You know what? If you go down, whichever leg you go down with, when we get to the other side, swing H P. Okay? Ready? Go! Um, let's do not crocodile. This is a slow mover. This is just a regular crocodile move. Now, this is how it starts. Start down on our knees. We take one hand, put it way out. Take the same side leg, put it way out. And this one comes up. Then we take this hand and this foot. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Opposite hand, opposite foot. And we drop our hip. Okay? Let's see how we do. Great. Rock down. Go. Good. Yeah, that's it. There's no wrong as long as you're moving. You're good. All right. Okay. Let's do some stretch. Okay. So everyone stand up. We're going to do jujitsu stretching, change of stretching. We want to swing our arms over. This will loosen up our shoulders. Big circles. And now back. Loose them up the other direction. Now, pose. All right, now we go up and down to loosen up those shoulders, big arms. Loosen the shoulders. Now we want to put our hands on our hips. Move our head from side to side. Stretch our neck out. Get a good move so we don't kink our necks. Now I go up and down. So we don't kick in this direction. Now we go with the noise maker. Go this direction. Mine cracks and makes all kinds of noise. All right, other direction with that. All right, all right now bend your knees slightly and move your hips over your heels, side to side. Drop it down each time, getting your hips moved. Okay, now, same thing, we go forward, back, through the knees, bounce off the back, 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 this is a tough one. You guys ready for a tough one? Squat down. Okay. Put our knee, hands inside of our knees. Push out just a little bit and squat. In our hands, you got squat. Just a little bit more. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Yeah, perfect. 
give them wages. It's kind of like the Dutch one. Okay? Now, this is a tough one. Put your hands on the mat if you want. Don't. You know, you gotta sit up. Down, back up. Down, back up. Perfect. All right, now, everyone lay down on your back. All right, ready? This is what I want to do. I want to throw our feet up, sit up. Throw our feet up. Perfect. Good job. Should we do that, Levi? Yes. All right. So Levi's going super fast on us. So now when we sit up, we want to turn our knees sideways, put our hips up, and then sit back down. Put our feet up, knees sideways the other direction. Back down. Perfect. So we're moving our hips. Nice. You guys are awesome. All right. All right. You guys all warmed up? Got a little sweat going? All right. Here comes the fun part. Let's go here. I'm up. Okay. Hands up. I'm not sure what we're doing. Let me do All right. So today we're going to talk about two things, two techniques. So we want to think about this. How do we get someone down? If we had to do, if someone was attacking us, being a bully, how would we get them down to the ground in a safe manner? For us. That makes sense. There's all sorts of different ways, but what we've always got to pay attention to is managing the damage by managing our distance from our bank. So how can we stay safe without getting hit to come in? What do you think? Leg sweep. Leg sweep. So I'm going to sweep his leg. How do I keep from getting punched? Mm, might work. Could work. But I want to keep from getting hit in the face. What do you think, Levi? Staying six feet away. Staying six feet away. Well, what is six? Well, six feet is perfect. Yeah, that, you know, we're talking this distance. That's a little, little bit more than even is necessary. We're going to think about two arm leaks. So if I'm here, and Mr. Pfeiffer, if you'll stand on that dot, so this is six feet, right? We can't even touch, but that's pretty close, okay? Six feet away is almost two arm lengths. So this is how, can he kick me from there? No. Can he punch me from there? No. No, his legs are longer than his arms. If he can't kick me, he can't punch me. That makes sense. So we're gonna maintain that distance. Now, there's two safe places. There's too far away, and then there's too close. So if someone was so close to me that would this, would this be any type of power for a punch? Here, Lawrence, I'll get a pad. So if this pad is right here, is that hard? It sounds kind of hard, but is it hard enough to, to make you go to sleep? Oh, no. No, it might be kind of irritating. It might hurt a little bit, but it's not enough to make you go to sleep. To sleep. To uh, knock you out. So that's what we've got to pay attention to. So if we can get away, you know, our rule number one, what's rule number one? Who remembers what's the rule of engagement number one? Avoid the fight at all costs. Let's say that again. Avoid the fight at all costs. Rule number two is what? Come on, Levi, you better know these. Physically attack, defend yourself. If physically attack, defend yourself. If someone's trying to hurt you, Defend yourself. It is perfectly okay. Rule number three. Yes, I'm testing you right now. Verbally, if verbally attacked, refer to the three T steps. Talk, tell, tackle. If verbally attacked. So if someone's just being disrespectful and mean, and it could be bullying verbally, saying you are ugly and your mom addresses you funny. That's being mean, right? Yeah. Your mom picked out those shoes. Those are about the ugliest shoes I ever saw. What do they cost? About two cents? They didn't have shoes on. <laughs> you, get the point, you get the point, though, right? Somebody just being mean. 
And when we think about this, can somebody be mean to you? Maybe your friend, can they be mean to you? Yes. They could be mean to you. Maybe they get angry, they're having a bad day. Does that make them a bully? No. No, just being mean, mean, just being mean, having a bad day, saying something nasty that they're not supposed to say. You know, that's, everybody has a bad day. Bullying is when it's a repeated behavior over and over and over. Does that make sense? So every day you see this person, they're mean to you. They're nasty to you. They're disrespectful to you. One time, and eh, maybe bad day, you give them a break. Three, four, five, every day that you ever see, every time you ever see them that mean and nasty, that's that's it. Does that make sense? So if verbally attacked every day, every time, refer to the three T steps. Talk, you're gonna talk to them. You're gonna say, hey. Don't ever talk to me like that again. I don't agree. Stop talking to me that way. Get serious. Now, would you believe somebody if they did this? Don't ever talk to me like that again. No. Does a bully believe it? No, a bully from ah, right. If you look at them, you never talk to me that way again. Does that make a difference? Yes. When you're serious. Yeah. So we talk to them first. Then if that doesn't fix us, then we go tell someone. So we're going to try to handle it ourselves first. Then we go tell mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, teacher, whomever. Police officer. Yeah, that that's what's necessary. Hey, this guy's giving me trouble, blah, 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 blah. If no one can help us, teacher, principal, whomever, and they're still being disrespectful, still being mean next time you see them, this time you can tackle. We'll talk about that. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Rule number four, Levi. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Wait. Come on. When you no, no, never punch or cut the bully, establish control and negotiate. Yes. Never think or punch the bully, establish control and negotiate. That means you make a deal. I will let you up if you will stop picking on me. I won't squish you anymore if you will. What's the ultimate way? Beat them physically where you hurt them, or beat them mentally where they give up. Which one is a better win? You can hurt somebody and they stop, but they may come back. But if they know that you're going to beat them every time because they couldn't get up, imagine you couldn't get up, somebody's holding you down. How demoralizing is that? How tiresome. How, oh my gosh, I can't get up. How can you reach it? At some point, they just give up. They give up again. That's what I'm talking about. I'll let you up if you stop picking on me. That makes sense. You don't even have to hurt them. You can just hold them back. Pretty cool. Last one. When using submissions, use minimal force to negotiate. All right, when using submissions, that's if you are putting somebody into a position like an arm like this where it kind of hurts. You use as little pressure as you can to make them give up. And then you negotiate. You make a deal. Make sense? Okay, very good. So, today we're talking about that tackle portion. Now, we talked about too far apart, but if I've got to tackle this person, what's going to happen? I have to get close. Right? And we'll talk about how to get close in another class. But today, what we're going to do is talk about after we're already in. Okay? So we got in close, and we're going to hug them with one arm. Grab, look, no thumb, my arm. So this one wraps, this one pulls. My ear is against their chest right here. So I'm holding them, my head is in tight. Whoever held on to mom or dad's leg in the kitchen, they drug you around. Like that. Does that make sense? That's how close you want to be. Because everybody wrapped their legs around mom and dad's leg. And you just gotta hang on like this, right? Yeah. So that's the feeling I want you to have. Belt right up against their body. In tight. You have one foot beside them. Other one out in front. So you have balance with them. 
in tight, head tight, head close, so that if they try to punch, this is all they got. No power. No power. Okay? Now, we're going to do a takedown called a body fold takedown. Here's how it works. So I'm in here tight, and the bad guy tries to push away, the bully tries to push away. Did you see what my back did? Here's what the bully's doing. You're here, tied in. They're trying to push away like this. They're trying to make space. Trying to get some space from them. But when you do this, it's this part of your back very weak. What we're going to do is this. So we're here, we're going to squat just a little bit, re grab a little lower, stand up straight, bend forward. Put our foot out here for safety so we don't fall. Then we can lower them down. And if we, maybe, maybe they got friends. Don't, don't, we don't. Run. We can run. We take this guy to the ground. We can run. Or if we're going to go down, we let them go, hands to the mat, knee to the ground. Slide this leg. Now we're going to put both feet under their legs. So that guy's here like this. We're going to put the legs under their legs. Now we're going to put our feet together like this. We're going to fly like Superman. So we pick our back up. So the only thing that's pressuring them is our belly button. And then our hands are going to be out like this. So we can't get knocked off to the side. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's try it again. So from here, arm is wrapped. I'm going to grab without a thumb. If I have my thumb, look where the hole is. In my grip. Where is the hole? Right here, right? So if I grab with my thumb, it can come out. But if I don't use my thumb and I pull it up against their body, where's the hole now? I have to go inside their body, right? It's not gonna happen. So there's no escape for that arm. So it's nice and tight. So we're here tight, head up against their chest. We're going to, they're going to push away, we're going to picture them. We're going to visualize the bad guy trying to push our shoulders and doing this number. We're trying to bend away. Because you got their waist, they can't get their body away. So they're trying to get their chest away to maybe try to throw a punch like this. More space. So now, lift, bow, step. Hands down, knee down, shoot the foot, both feet good. Hands up, wide base. Make sense? Questions? Okay, so in your spot, we're gonna start like so. Grab, grab, pull in tight. You're gonna picture them bending backwards. As soon as they do, you know how you're gonna feel that? You don't even have to your eyes open. Where's your head? Where's your, where's your head though? It's against their chest. When their chest does this, you feel it. Right? So you don't have to have your eyes open. You can feel your head go this way easy. So you go, boom, ah. Bend forward. Step. Make sense? You know why it's important to step? Because if we, if we fall with them, and we have a hold of them, where's our arm? Under them. So we fall on top of them, on top of our arm. Not a good, not a good idea. Make sense? Okay. So from here, back, come down, lift, bend, step, let go, get to the ground. Okay. All right. Ready? Big clap. One, two, three. Let's practice. Let's see it. I'm gonna watch. Ooh, Lord, you got a good base. That was good. You know how to get up and base yet? No. Oh, oh, let me show you real quick. It's easy. You guys keep practicing. So from here, swing to back in. So you're going to put both feet like this. Good. Yeah. Put both hands down or just one hand, doesn't matter. Now you're going to lift with this leg, and this leg's going to come off the right. Now, watch this foot. It's going to circle way around and come over here by my foot. Oh, see how your knee bent like this? You ran out of space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you want to bring this leg around to the Perfect. That's it. And so now every time you get up, get up the base. Cool. I right, keep practicing. 
Hey, watch. So hug. Let remember, no thumb. Yes. In time, goes away. Spread your feet a little bit. Bring it back on this. Now they try to push back. You feel them push back. Lower. Scoop them. Bend. Step. Drop them. Hands. Knee. Foot. Shoot. Fly. Here, like you're gonna clap. Look back at your feet. All right, good. Up and base. Keep going. Let's try it again. Hold it tight. In. Down. Shoot the leg. Feet together. Make your hips go down. at your chest. So the ass just up. Beautiful. Love it. Nice. Now, can I offer a suggestion? Yes. You're wrapping with this arm here, so there will be back foot and steps. You're stepping with the other foot, your, your, your strong foot. Oh, you my knee. Right. Which hand do you throw a ball with? Your lefty? Which hand do you write with? Yeah, but I Which hand do you color with? Hey, you're writing. <laughs> Oh, I wish it ready. Come on. All right, let's try it again. Now, yes. Hands down. Drop your yeah. Fly. Perfect. Perfect. Love it. All right. You know, I can picture the bad guy. Remember, what's the bad guy look like? Looks just like you with the handlebar mustache from Sonic the Hedgehog. The evil twin. The evil twin. Or if you've seen the new Scooby Doo movie, uh, the Scoob movie, Dick Dastardly. He's got the handle on my stash. All right, very good. Okay, so now let's have a seat. So here's what I want you to think about. Okay, this, this next move we're going to do, we have this, this move called Punch Block stages. So it's when we're on the bottom of the fight. So we got on the top and maybe we lose this we lose the top position that pushes on they're big and strong. Bullies are always bigger and stronger than us. Right? So we lose the top position. So instead of just not doing anything or trying to run away, we are going to hug them with our legs, hug their head, and hold an arm. So we're holding them down. This, part, this position is called guard. Okay? So we have our, when they're in between our legs, and we hug them with our legs, it's called guard. Okay? And it's the secret weapon of crazy jiu -jitsu. Because you may think you're at a disadvantage, but you, you have four weapons. Bad guys here. How many weapons does he have? Two. Two. You're here. How many weapons do you have? Four. Four. So this is our secret weapon, is that we can use all of our weapons in that game. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So we wrap our feet around their body, we hold their head, and hold their arm. In future classes, we'll talk about how to do and deal with punches from there. Right. Now, part of that class, though, the bad guy stands up while we're holding on to him. It can happen. They're bigger and stronger than us, right? So what happens is they're here, and we're holding them down, but they kind of climb like this, and they start to stand up. Now, if we hang on while they're standing up, what's going to happen? We're going to get picked up, right? And then what might happen? They might drop us, jump down on top of us, so we don't want that to happen at all, right? No. So at some point in that, we're going to do what's called, so that's stage one is what we're hanging on to. We're going to do what's called stage four is where we push them away and put them at the end of our feet. So we manage the damage by managing the, what's that last word? Distance. And I say manage the damage. Manage the distance. So we're holding here. He starts to pick me up, and I let him go, push him away, put him at the end of my feet. So now he can't reach me because my legs are longer than his arms. That make sense? He can't reach my face. Now, 
as the bad guy. I'm here. I stood up. My good guy is right there pushing his feet on the hips. I think about it for just a second and I throw the legs away. Now, this happened. What's the problem? I can come right here. Yeah. He could come down. He could try to hug us and hold us and control us and switch us. Or he could try to hit us. So we have to have something to do with that. Does that make sense? All right, so that's today's class. It's called Shrimp Escape from Side Event. So mount is when someone's on top of you. Okay. Side mount is when someone is, instead of being on top of you like this, they're like this, sideways, like a T. Okay, so one person's here, the other one's laying on side of That's side mount. okay? That makes sense? So from here, bad guy comes in, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, picture them, here they come. Block the bottom. Our hands pull underneath. My leg goes across the hips. Their hips. My other leg bites the back, right back here. So we're gonna sandwich them right here. We're gonna put our toe down, move our hip. You might remember that shrimp motion? Yeah. Move our hip, then we pull our foot out. Then we put them back in. What's that called? Guard! Put it back in guard. So everything's going back to guard. Why guard? Because we can't stop them from punching us. So again, bad guy throws my legs. I turn. Block the shoulder. Block the hip, the belt. Now, most common mistake. People try to do this. Does that gonna work? Why wouldn't that work? It's too slow. So you're gonna use your hands by gripping them a little bit, and you're going to pull your body in. Bite the back, chin comes across the belly. Okay. Picture that. Now the bad guy's here. Leg is here. Leg is across my back. You drop the foot back down here. Move the hips out to get our foot out. Okay. That's the important part. That's the important part. The essential detail is that little hip motion at the end. If you don't get your hip out, what happens is your foot gets stuck right here. And you can't pull it out because the leg's in the way. So you have to move your hip to go. You can circle this one. Okay? So let's try that. So it's gonna be this. We're gonna stand on our back. We're gonna turn, block. Let's do it all together. So turn on your side, block. Act like you're gripping. Now here's the hard part of this move. Lift your feet. And now think about you're gonna throw your knees at your hands. Now we're gonna spin towards you. Like you're gonna break dance like turtle. <laughs> oh, like that. So here, now bring your bring your knees towards me. Yes, that's it. And now from here, leg across the body, back, bite the back, down, toes down. Move your hips out this way. Free your foot, crush. That's it. All right, let's try it again a couple more times. You got it. All right, see it again. See it again, see it again. Yeah. Then we'll finish off with a game. Block, turn on your side. Yes, grip them. Lift your legs, bring it in. That's it, good. And yes, yes. That's it, grip them. Lift the feet, pull it in, right across the body, so yeah. Yes, that's it. I said movement. I said movement, good job. I said that, that, that move is a little bit tough, especially without a partner because you're trying to spin without something to push off of. That's good. 
That's awesome. That's a hard thing. Look, I'm sweating. It's a hard thing to do. Oh. What's that? I know you're not. I am though. All right. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Viva, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and we're going to test you here in a couple of days. Once we figure out, I, I, you know what? We, I've got an elephant in the back of the back that's a little bit too big, but it's good. The thing is, right now it's just with these government things, and I just don't feel You're with your dad, not me. Oh. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right. You guys want to see him? Maybe get his new belt. Yeah. You know that they were teaching the kids class all by themselves? Yeah. During the Zoom. During, during when we were home, doing only Zoom classes. So let's see him get, you want to see him test? Let's see. Let's see how he does. All right. So, well, hold on. What are the rules of engagement, Levi? Rule number one avoid the fire. Right. Rule number one, avoid the fight at all costs. Rule number two, physically attack, defend yourself. Rule number three, verbally attack, refer to the three T sets. Talk, tell. Rule number four, never punch or kick the bully. Stop controlling your push. Rule number five, when using submissions, use minimal force to make push. All right, so for your bully battle today, I need to see you do everything you know. Your daddy's going to give you a bunch of different indicator, indicators. And I want to see you pick them up. Don't just do your favorite ones. Uh, you guys can do them right, right over there. All right, I'm going to start the timer. Three minutes. He's got to fight his dad for three minutes. Why are you standing off fighting? You're not ready to fight. That's it. There we go. I'll just stop it at one. All right, so. Okay. I told you not to mess me up. His hips fall, he's not hooking his legs. <laughs> there you go. Don't let him have that easy. Levi, he's in your guard. You can't trap and roll him. Okay. What are you doing when he chokes from trap and roll? Or from uh, guard? Finish it, Levi. Finish it. That works. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong? What are you missing? You missing something? I bet I can push you off of me. What are you going to do at this point? You're hurting me. Are you going to stop? No, no. Uh, okay, you're hurting me. Are you going to stop? Yeah, yeah, I'll stop. That's it, get in there, good. Yes, that's exactly what we just practiced, good job.
Okay, that guy's doing pretty good. You all right? I see your hand. Bye. Stand up, please. Now, I have this one in house, so this one probably won't fit you. It's a little big, but we'll get you, get you the right size ordered in, okay? Eventually. Go ahead and take that belt off. Okay. It's going to be kind of big. Yeah. But maybe, hopefully, you grow. Yeah. Nice job, Levi. Good job, brother. Nice to meet you, guys. Way to work hard, Levi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great job today. Great job today. So, how you get stripes and how you get belts, okay? So, you see those stripes on the belt, those white stripes? So, every 20 classes, you get one of those. Okay. So, then when you get close to 100, you can test your belt. Make sense? All right, but that's how we know how many classes without having to go to the car. Cool. All right, very good. So if I stand up, by the flag, Grand Master Grayson. By the year, by the year. Great job today, guys. You are out of here. One big clap. One, two, three. Have a nice day. Oh, I forgot we were going to play game. I forgot we were going to play game. Stand up. We're going to do Simon Says. Super Simon Says. Remember the rules, no one gets out, no one gets out, and then we move on. If somebody, if somebody makes a mistake, you go to level two. On level two, if you make a mistake, you're out if you don't fix it real fast. Level three, you can't even move. Level four, you can't be the last one. So I tell you what, today, we're going to go from level one to level four. Oh. We're going to skip level two and level three. All right, here we go. Here we go. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, stand down. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your shoulder. Simon says, touch your knees. Touch your toes. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Touch your nose. Hands down. Gotcha. All right, we move on to level four. All right, here we go. You cannot be last. If you're last, you're out. Hands up! I did not say Simon says. <laughs> out. Well, All right. You got to go to level five. No one survives. Are you ready? No. Oh, man. Give me an air high five for people level five. Oh, smart cookie. Smart cookie. All right, here we go. Time to sit down. Time to stand up. Time to touch your head. Time to sit down. Go. Okay. You can go to level five. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're out of here. Everybody have a nice day. See you later. Yeah. Great job.